All right, it seems like we've been talking about this interview for six months. It's pretty much because yeah. we have uh, David Culver recently got to meet Anderson Cooper, who's done it all from covering wars to hosting reality game shows. And at just 44 years old, he's not slowing down. David Culver recently got to visit him in New York City and sat down for the one-on-one -on -one interview with Anderson Cooper, and he joins us now with all the behind-the-scenes scoop because that's what we really want. That's we're what excited about the now. interview, but we want we want the behind-the-scenes. Well, I tell you, we sat through two shows, and it was absolutely incredible just how go 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 he is. I yeah. mean, and he doesn't stop. That's mm -hmm. just half his work day. Then he goes and does CNN AC360. So yeah. an incredibly hard worker, also a gracious host. I mean, he showed us around, gave us the grand tour, and still, you know, in the midst of his work day. So, you know, we talked with him. We sat down, talked about his mom, Gloria Vanderbilt, of course, his famous mother, mm -hmm. the U.S. military, and even you've heard of this woman, Oprah. I've heard. Her. Yeah, she's pretty well known. She came up too. <laughs> With the new talk show that just launched, Anderson Cooper will admit he's overworked, but do not expect to hear him complain. It's tiring some days. It's a lot of hours, but you know, I've gone out with the Marines in Helmand Province in southern Afghanistan. That's 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 real hard work, and that's tiring. Uh, you know what they're doing over there. Um, this is, you know, this is a blessing. I feel very privileged to to be in this position where I can meet all these people and learn all these new things. So it's fun. Part of that fun, dressing up. So today, obviously, I'm paying homage to Phil Donahue, the man who really created daytime talk shows. For a period, Donahue was the king of daytime until someone else stole the crown. Do you feel the pressure ever to kind of live up to what she, the standards that she set during during the daytime? You know, I mean, I, I think I mean, Oprah is still around and she's, she's not going anywhere and she's still doing remarkable work. So, um, you know, I, I'm not trying to follow in any one person's footsteps. You know, I'm just trying to be myself and, and do the best show I can. I guess when I ask the Oprah question, what I'm really asking is, are you going to give away cars? <laughs> Am I going to give away cars? I don't think we have the budget to give away cars at this point, but, uh, you know, we give away stuff to people in the audience and, and uh, smaller things like gift certificates and stuff like that. So maybe someday some cars. We'll see. As you sit through a live taping, you realize what it takes to pull off the show. Anderson knows it requires a committed team. Off to the side of the stage, the show's executive producer is hidden by a monitor. She's meticulously watching every frame. During commercial breaks, they're making changes. And when the camera's rolling again, Anderson's on his own. Well, sort of. He can still hear the producer. Look closely in his ear, and you'll see how. Have a happy Halloween, everyone. All right, they've already finished the first show of the morning. That was the halloween theme show. You can see they waste no time in between shows. You see the crew here, they're switching things as quickly as possible, moving up and down the curtain, making sure that it's ready for the next show. After an hour lunch break, Anderson's back on set, minus the wig and tie. His topic for this show, living a simpler life. One of his guests, a young YouTube sensation. It's lighthearted, fun far from the more serious stories we're used to seeing this journalist report on. I asked him if he misses being in the field, chasing the story. I haven't missed out on any big stories, so I, I, uh, I, you know, it's really important to me to still continue to travel and still cover big, uh, big breaking stories, and I'll still continue to do that. Um, you know, we're, we'll have enough shows on tape that I'll be able to, to go somewhere if, if news breaks. And, um, and so far, you know, we've been, uh, we've been able to cover everything we want to. Of all the stories you've covered, have you ever gotten too close to a story? Um, you know, I was in Haiti a couple of years back and it was in a riot and there was a kid in trouble who had a, been hit with a, a cinder block and, and was, was uh, in and out of consciousness and I, I, I took him out of the crowd and I got some flack for that, for, you know, kind of crossing a line. But, you know, for me, that was, that's a no-brainer. I mean, there's a child who's hurt and no one else is helping this child, you know, a picture is not that important. Before our interview was up, Anderson agreed to a few one-word questions. Are you kind of give me the first thing that comes to mind, all sure. right? Sure, all right. Depardieu. Jour de urine, uh, yeah, and giggling, two words. Urine. Urine and giggling, yes. He peed on a plane and it made me giggle and I lost total control. He hasn't commented on this incident. <laughs> Politics. Uh, partisanship, just uh, the divisions which are in this country and, and uh, you know, it becomes particularly noticeable during an election cycle. Your mom? My mom, just uh, an original, original I would say. I mean, my mom's, you know, there's really no one like her. So you gonna have her on the show some more often? Yeah, I think so. She, she likes it, it seems, and um, I think she likes the, the free hair and makeup that, that we give her, but, um, you know, she, uh, she's, she's great to have around and she's always interesting. The U.S. military. 
But I look at what those men and women do, and I just find it amazing. I, I have such respect and admiration. I don't think I could do it. I mean, I don't think, you know, I'm 44 and I, I work out a lot, but I don't think I'm in enough, good enough shape. But um, I, I, I have huge admiration for, for, for uh, fighting men and women. All right, I'll let you go. I know you got sure. to go to AC360. All right, hey, pleasure. Thanks. So Thanks. Really appreciate it. Thanks. All right, and just to show you what kind of a guy he was, right when we finished that, I mean, he's being rushed from one thing yeah. to another. And we had about 10 minutes to sit down and talk with him. Right when we finished, he said, you know, don't worry about what they're telling you to do. Do you need to get any other sort of setup shots, any cutaways? And in television, you know, when we're doing an interview like that, we need what we call B-roll to cover. And, of course, he knew it all because, I mean, he's been in the business. And yeah. he didn't let, you know, his busy schedule get to him. So really a great guy and showed us around, you know, the entire place. So a yeah. lot of fun up there. By the way, tonight on Wavy News 10 at 5, he opens up a little bit more. He had his mom on the show, Gloria Vanderbilt. Mm -hmm. And that was in a very emotional interview, and, and we talked more about his, the loss in his family and right. that he's, you know, experienced, and he's going to open up a little bit more about that one emotional interview tonight. That's uh, on mm -hmm. Wavy News 10 at 5. So, and also, we want to tell folks to go to thehamptonroadshow.com. We've posted all these web extras, the full interview, and, of course, some behind-the-scenes photos that I think you'll get a kick out of. So. I want to hear more, but if I ignore the producer here... I'm in big trouble. Don't do that. Because yeah. I'm not Anderson we've Cooper. Like we've got she these says, things. you got to go. I can't say, oh, don't worry about that, David. Just keep talking. Don't, don't ignore anybody here. Maybe someday. All right, we'll look forward to that tonight at 5. Right. Good job. Thanks. It was fun. All right.